Hello everyone, this is Chromanim, and welcome to Aliens Dark Descent. Now, I got this as a birthday present from a friend, thank you First Yashin. And uh, I decided I'll actually do uh, first impressions on, uh, on video. I haven't played it, I only jumped into the tutorial a little bit to see how it handles. But other than that, I have seen a little bit of gameplay, but I haven't played it myself. I don't know the story. I uh, do know it's a top-down kind of tactical thing, uh, squad-based, similar to XCOM, I think. But in the Aliens universe, um, I did hear that it's um, more related to the Aliens expanded universe, like the comic books. So. Um, I have heard that we do have um, stuff like uh, Praetorians and uh, Alien Crushers and stuff like that, which should be very fun. But uh, yeah, this will be a blind playthrough. I don't know anything yet. So let's jump into a game and uh, see what happens. Now... I am going to leave everything on uh, medium. I will, maybe if if uh, if I enjoy it and uh, if I'm having a good, uh, if I'm having fun with it, I might go to harder difficulties later. But for now, I'll just start on medium. And um, you know what? I won't skip prologue, just because. Uh, well, you guys might want to know the story and I will be talking about it if there's anything to talk about. So let's just jump in, into the game and uh, see what it's about. Oh, interesting, that ship looks just like the Nostromo. Please be mindful of docking bay protocol at all times. Wayland Utah, building better worlds. Ooh, what's in the box? I I love this uh, camera pan. It it looks very ominous. Say I love that old school analog tech. Right, so this being an aliens game, I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that uh, there's eggs in that their pod.
<laughs> Never mind, it's a fully fledged xenomorph. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that, that station is gonna go to crap. Any news from Lisi Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... Isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. Right, so the Bentonville, we actually saw I don't that care name. What McDonald's says. Something is wrong here. I can monitor the cargo bay camera's security feed just as well from my office. So that shipping crate uh, actually had the Bentonville's name on it. So I'm guessing the discrepancy is. Uh, I'm guessing they were leaving the station and they left something behind. Let's just get through the tutorial stuff real quick. There we go. Now, if the camera seems a bit too fast. Oh, great. An android. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Daniel. But no. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did you guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? No. It's my problem. Those eyes are and I'll so take care creepy. of it. I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor is closed due to maintenance. You'll need to detour through the cafeteria. So I heard no one's picking up on the planet. Not even Jackson's landing. Really? I have a friend there. I hope he's okay. Oh, I wonder why. These bloody storms, man. Yeah, so, uh, if you know alien movies and alien lore, you know that androids are generally a really bad news. <laughs> and creepy as hell. But we do know that no one's answering on the planet. I wonder why. What could have happened on that planet? Don't often see you in here, Administrator Hayes. Are you lost? Do you need me to show you to your room? Last I checked, you couldn't find your own ass with both hands. I'll pass. What was I saying? Yeah, if if the supply shuttle Bentonville secure for launch. All crews, this is your two-minute warning. Shit. Need to hurry. Right. Okay, so double right click to move fast. Um, what was I saying? I completely forgot my train of thought. <laughs> Alright, let's use this computer. Let's see what happened. Welcome, Administrator Hayes. And there's a crate. What the 
hell's going on down there? I'll have to take a closer look. I'm sure they're all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if the camera is a little bit uh, uh, jumpy. I'm still getting used to the controls. We go through here. Wait, oh, that that door sound. Where's Chief Durant? Selling the labor dispute on the rally. Then you'll have to do. Gather a security team and come with me. <laughs> Not a chance. McDonald just linked in. Told us you'd be stirring up trouble. Again. I ain't getting involved. Take it up with him. Thanks for nothing. What is the quickest way there? Alright, we can check the map. Okay, middle mouse drops a waypoint. How do I remove this? Those fucking storage hoppers in Bay 3 are still fucking jammed. What a maintenance play now. Supply shuttle Bentonville is cleared for launch. Remember, all unauthorized breaks taken by non-officer grades will automatically be deducted from leave allowance. All right. Also, the shuttle that carried the... Um the alien specimen is uh, just getting ready to launch. Help me. Hold on. You're, you're going to be all right. Cargo bay. These things came out of... Stay with me. Stay... Better take his pistol. And hope whatever's in there doesn't know I can't. So there's a very cool thing about this game. Uh, if you hold your left mouse click, you actually highlight things with your flashlight, and that's the way you actually find um, uh, things that you can pick up on the floor or things that you can interact it with. It makes it really, really cool. It builds a lot of suspense and makes it just that more um, creepy. That's the Bentonville. What are they holding in these things? Why do people always touch the goo? That is not Trimonite. Well, lucky for us, they are all already open, so... Uh, Shit. There's something in here. Get out of here, Michael. I can't leave that thing running loose. I need to lock this damn door. There's a welder back there. Time to get it sealed up. Whatever that thing is, can't chew its way through a door. No, of course it can. Keep it together, Michael. <laughs> Let's let's make it quick. Oh, 
Okay, and we have one tool with which we can weld the door. And there he is. the Bensonville. What are you talking about? The dock crew and cargo bay four are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. <gasps> Power failure. Power failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? That's a lot of them. Lucky the doors are fast. I hate those things. I'm not, um, not an arachnophobe. I don't really have problems with spiders, but ace huggers. <laughs> yeah, those things are terrifying. What the hell is happening? Everyone's dying in there. Bentonville, I can't let that happen. You have to go to your station, please respond. What's going on over there? Otago? The Colonial Marines. USS Otago, this is Administrator Hayes. There's some kind of infestation aboard. Otago, you have to intercept the Bentonville before it leaves the system. Can you hear me, Otago? Please copy. Is everything all right? Please copy. Damn it! Comms are down. I can't fix him from here. I need to get to the comms room. Okay, let's see where the comms room is. We're gonna have to head back on the main hallway. Lewis? Are you in there? I need access to the comms room. Lewis, answer me, damn it! Go away! You're drawn right to us. Open the damn door! No way! It's staying locked to keep those things out! You think that'll help? They're in the vents. Vents? Shit! Lewis! Lewis! Goodbye, Lewis. Alert. Alert. Station integrity compromised. Okay, we'll have to find a way around. There we go. We can actually go through here and come all the way around there. This is the mess hall, right? Where we had that little banter with actually this guy. It's out there. It's waiting for me. Manning, you can't stay here. No, no, I can't see me here. Go away. Away. Okay, just keep your head down, right? right? We we might as well run through here. We do have a the thing about that running in this game. As I said, I did do a little trial run before. The thing about running is you can't use your gun, but we only have a pistol and. 
honestly, I don't think that's gonna help. <laughs> Even if we are moving slowly. Daniel, you all right? Deputy Administrator, it appears that these creatures have destroyed our communication system. Why would they do that? They're animals. Yeah, that's Sorry, not suspicious no at all. I wish I could help you further. Shit, the Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. Daniel, our planetary quarantine protocols. They're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off-world... No, there's no choice. I can stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland yutani containment procedures. The Cerberus Protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. Okay, where do we have to go? Ah, this is a bit annoying. Um, on the main sc on the main screen, basically you you use middle mouse button to turn the camera around, but on the map you actually use the right mouse button to pan around. So it does it it is a bit confusing. Okay, so we can just go forward and we'll reach the Cerberus room. And uh, yeah, coming back to it, a single android staying in a completely damaged comms room. Mm. I don't know what you guys think, but that's very suspicious in, in my book. I don't trust alien androids. I mean, alien universe androids. Alright, let's activate the defense systems. Warning. Three ships detected. Or quarantine USS systems. Otago, Bentaville, Baldrin. We'll be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by. Stand by. Well, Bentonville's been dealt with at least. Unfortunately, the hauler is gonna go down as well. And there goes the Colonial Marine ship. Oh crap. Um... Miss? I, I think you should run.
I, I think we pissed it off. Okay, so um, when we're spotted, there will be a yellow line between the enemy and us. And the moment it starts filling out red, the moment the red gets to us, we will get spotted. So we can actually just hide behind these boxes. And if we hold crouch, we will um, attempt to hide behind the cover. Ah, big stretch. <laughs> okay, this this isn't terrifying at all. Where can we go? I think this would be a good place. And we can hide behind the cover again. Alright, this, this is full cover. I don't even need to crouch. Down. I don't see it anymore. Okay, let's let's just risk it and make a run for it. Right. Come on. Come on. Get to the door. Oh shit. <laughs> that, that run was so clunky. <laughs> Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, he's, uh, Dep Deputy Administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunslet, we're rolling to you. Copy. Okay, now we have a squad. And the squad is basically controlled like a single entity. Cerberus protocol in effect. What the fuck is a Cerberus protocol? No clue. Just keep it moving and watch those corners. It's planetary quarantine. Nothing in, nothing out. Sounds like a real party. And from what I saw, they actually fire automatically, so we don't have to bother with uh, with that. They'll just fire on sight. But they will go one by one if you ask them to do things like pick up stuff and uh, so on. Let's let's do a bit of a run. Where do we have to go? There. Right, so this little bit is covered in fire, but we could go around it. So... Hey. <clears throat> you okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. Harper? Um... We've that got movement. doesn't seem... 
Oh, we got the motion tracker. And we also already have a contact. No, oh, that, that sound and the pulse rifle sound, it just awakens some amazing memories. I used to play um, Aliens vs Predator, both the first and the second game, with uh, friends. We would basically gather up in one of our friends' houses and have uh, big LAN parties playing uh, Alien vs Predator and some other games, but... Okay. Is that contact actually moving? Let's see. So it would be somewhere... Here. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Man? Oh, it's a uh, man. Where are you going? It's not safe here. It's not. Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, you don't understand. It's here. It's here. <laughs> Light it up. Eyes up! That thing's still out there! Oh, that's too bad, Manning. Take him out! Oh, crap. Here's a grenade! Alright, so, if we hold space, we can actually open the special abilities, um, menu. And here we have grenades, which are actually equipped under barrel to all um, to all pulse rifles, which is amazing. Also, um, grenades use command points, not ammo, and those regenerate continuously. You use command points to um, give your guys orders and to use special abilities like the grenades. We need that elevator. Punch it. Set for suppressing fire and check your targets! Okay, so what does suppressive fire do? Okay, it slows down the enemies to 70% of their speed. The firing rate is doubled for the Marine, but their accuracy is lowered by 20 points. And we need to manually cancel it. Also, the Marine performing suppressive fire cannot run, closer. and they will always closer. face towards the point own. you set Steady. the suppressive fire to. Steady. So that's actually pretty cool. And there's Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, is that you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Cerberus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Stand down! Quarantine breach in progress. Deadly force authorized. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. All right, let's move to the docking bay. And yeah, since are creepy little fuckers. That was a tail. Still, I'm... <sighs> oh no. What? It's blood is some kind of acid. Fuck. What kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Latimer, you fit to move? I'm 
I'm not dying here. All right, let's get off this damn station. Right, so if the aliens die too close, the acid will splatter all, all on our guys and it will cause one damage. So we are going to have to kite them from now on. Also, Latimer is uh, limping pretty badly, so she's a bit slower. We need Latimer mobile ASAP. I'll break open the medkit. Okay. So if they take too much damage, they will um, start getting debuffs. In this case, she got the broken leg. Or light wound on the leg. There you go. You ain't pretty, but that ship sailed long ago. Gee, thanks. <laughs> right, let's uh, keep moving. Shit, they're in oh. the walls! Right, so we also have sidearms. In this case, close. shotguns. And oh, that's that's really cool. Um, it will actually switch to the marine that is uh, closest, or would be probably most effective in doing the the shot, which is really nice, right? And the shotgun doesn't again doesn't use ammo; it uh, just uses a command point. And let's see how it goes. Things are handy for close encounters. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can see, the voice acting is a little bit hit or miss. <laughs> for close encounters. I should probably start stop running. Although the motion tracker is clear, so I think we're good. Check around with our flashlights a little bit. I should get in the um, in the habit of looking around with our flashlight. for a migraine seriously sarge what's up with you move no we're in danger all right so the sergeant appears to have a weird ability to sense aliens ah! sergeant harper pull it together we have to leave yeah yeah i heard you corporal hudson get your ass down here hot evac all right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Okay, so let's get some suppressive fire down. They're probably going to Shit, be coming from contacts. here. Closing fast. How many of those things are there? Too many. We have to go. Okay, and let's slowly pull back. Hunslet, there's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die. Right, so when you select your abilities, the game will either go into slow-mo or pause. Um, in my case, I think I set it to pause just because uh, I don't want to be that stressed out. The game is uh, anxiety-inducing anyway, so uh, this run, it's gonna be Set on pause, I will set it to slow mo, or maybe even in this run, I will set it to slow mo. We only have one command point left. Ah, you know what? It'll regenerate. out would you look at that hell she's taking a pounding 
Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunslet, can you get us aboard? <laughs> no way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit? Death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's, it's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Oh, it's gonna land. Okay, land is kind of it's it's too kind of work. I also didn't see any any thrusters to balance it out, so don't know how it did that. But we did make it back, and this will be our base Welcome from now on. Home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... Is your communication system working? It's online, but... We're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Yeah, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Ace, you better come with me. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shithoused. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. You want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price you needs to- You heard, Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger, and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. But that doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people- You find a way we can do that? Then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway. Alright, so as I said, this will be our base from now on. Uh, I don't think the Otago can actually lift up, up anymore, not after that landing. 
Um, I mean, we can see sparks flying everywhere. Um, okay, go to med base. So let's go around the ship a little bit, see see what else we can uh, find, and acquaint ourselves with every little thing there is to do here. I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the med base being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. Okay, so wounded marines go to the med bay, and uh, select this one, and we can actually assign ph physicians to to marines, and every ph physician assigned to a marine will reduce his, re his recovery or their recovery time to uh, by one day. Uh, this is Latimer. She she took a, a big hit from an alien. So she's the one we helped out with a med kit on on the rescue mission. So let's assign a physician. Oh, I gotta hold this. This one's a priority. Right. Understood. And she's already healed, which is amazing. All right, let's jump into the workshop. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckled half the support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place from caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Need a gun, administrator? Okay, and here's where we can unlock weapons. Um, I kind of dislike the fact that we can already see what we can unlock from the start. Kind of. Ruins the fun of, the fun of discovering new new guns, but uh, we can see we have a pulse rifle. We will be able to unlock the smart gun, and uh, that's just a really fun weapon to have. And it sounds amazing too. Uh, right, heavy pulse rifle later, and plasma rifle, which I don't remember seeing in any of the aliens, but uh, it's here. Secondary weapons, we got service pistol, revolver, and SMG. And there's also special weapons, which uh, we already saw the shotgun in action. It's basically a close close quarters combat weapon, which we can activate using a command point. There's also an incineration unit, which I'm guessing will be the um, flamethrower. Mines, which sounds amazing. Uh, RPG launchers, and... Um, a sniper rifle. RPG launcher. Hmm. I mean, do we need one of those when we have grenade launchers on the pulse rifles? I'm guessing they do more damage to single targets or heavy armor tar targets. But we'll see when we get there. And if we check them out, uh, we can see that uh, they require a level 3 gunner. Smart gun, at least. And 100 materials. And they go just bigger and bigger after that. Right, let's jump into the laboratory and see what's up in there. Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland Yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo-sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons? Hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. 
You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there. See for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my marines. They all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes. Which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lead the squad and an officer'd run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for, either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. Okay, so we have a colony under threat, which is uh, sending messages to us, asking for help. So let's uh, launch the mission. Let's jump into our first actual mission in Dead Hills. Okay, we have 14 primary objectives, 19 data pads, and uh, some resources over here. Um, from what I saw, the thing about the missions is they are actually uh, persistent. So you can actually finish just a few primary objectives and uh, extract if you're in too much trouble, of course. And... Uh, Anything you took up or anything that changed on the map uh, while you were in it will stay the same for the next time you come to the map. So, uh, for example, we did see that um, our tools and medkits have a uh, maximum amount that you can carry. So, if we are all already close to the maximum, we might actually not want to pick them up and leave them for another mission when we may need them even more. So, let's Understood. build our squad. squad. Mission data. And there we have it. This, uh, this looks very familiar. The players who played a different... Um, alien uh, fighting game <laughs> right so let's see oh yes the um marines do start with um ah, okay let's select inventory all right and this is where we can actually grab some um, tools and medical supplies to carry in the mission so it says to pick two supplies of each type, so let's grab a couple. They cost materials if you don't have any. And uh, the squad is already selected and it appears I can't really do anything. So let's just go ahead and launch the mission. Oh, that's a nice APC they have there. And those ships are amazing with the extendable rocket wings. I know we're hurting, but we got us a go mission. We pulled in a partial signal from the settlement of Dead Hills. We don't know exactly what's happening there, but after what we've seen on Pioneer, we can't take any risks. We'll start by securing the landing control zone. From there, we'll take a look around, see what's going on. Keep your eyes open for survivors. Be ready for a firefight. Even a bad day can get worse. And 
under those extended wings I was talking about. Marines, welcome to the New World Order. I'll be running tactical from the ARC, while Hayes runs support from the Otago. Administrator Hayes, are you settled in up there? I think so. This tech's old, but I can work with it. Don't let Corrigan hear you say that. Okay, standard recon. Get the perimeter gate open, and let's see what's going down in this burg. On it. Okay. Um, let's see, can I check on the Marines? Um, this is the map. Oh, squad recap. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look at our Marines here. So they're all level 1 rookies. They all have 6 health, apparently. Yep. Alright. And I'm gonna go over each of the attributes one by one, and let's see what they do. This is actually as far as I made it into my, uh, let's call it, practice run. <laughs> So, uh, from here on out, I'm kind of outside of the loop. This will be the first time seeing it. Right, Bravery. First damage the Marine endures is reduced by a percentage of their bravery. So yeah, I, I uh, do know about stress. The more you fight aliens, the more the stress increases. And once you reach 100%, uh, you will get some, um, I think they're called mental traumas which can be pretty bad but later in the game i think they can be healed right uh got to armor 50 percent accuracy that's not very good and they also have carrying capacity so that's why we can only carry four med kits and four um tools because we only have four marines each with one carrying capacity Okay, they also start as recruits with uh, some personality traits, which are pretty bad, but from what I know, you can remove them uh, once they start leveling up. So, this one has the Conspirator personality trait. Um, let's see, stress relieved by each Marine doing, during a rest is reduced by 10 points. Well, that kind of sucks. You can rest in the middle of missions, um, to reduce the stress, you just need a secure room so you can uh, actually weld the door from the inside and uh, you can give your guys uh, a little bit of time to rest. That will reduce their stress. Otherwise, I think you can use meds to reduce stress. Okay, we also have upgrade slots. I have no idea what goes in here. And of course, the gear... So they all have pulse rifles, service pistols, and shotguns. Let's see. McDonald. She's a coward. Oh, that's uh that sucks. Marine's bravery is reduced by two per aggressiveness level. So aggressiveness level is um I'll actually show you. It should appear right up here. This is not not I, I know this from watching a bit of uh gameplay from from some other people comfy, okay? but uh, the more you fight the alien the more hive aggression is increased and the more hard it becomes the harder it becomes to to fight aliens carrying on right um back to the squad right sharp bad luck Marina earns one less XP for each deployment with a minimum of zero. Oh, this this is just horrible. So this guy will lag behind on the on the levels unless we actually remove this trait. And I think this will be the biggest priority to remove if uh, anything happens. Right, and web clumsy. Alien detection time is reduced by 10%. Uh, well, he's not going to be hiding around. We also have the Codex, which uh, tells us any info we found out. 
which um, I'm not going to redo right now. Oh, okay, there's uh, even more here. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably read through this between episodes, and um, I should be a little more, more knowledgeable <laughs> the next time we, we... Well, the next episode. All right, M540 ARC. That's pretty cool. Twenty millimeter Gatling gun cannons. That's that's just beautiful, right? And then there's the dropship. We also have some gear info. I'm sorry, I really have to click all of these because uh, I'm just not gonna have a good day unless I see those yellow dots just disappearing. <laughs> all right. Some more tutorials. Oh, so you can press F to order all the Marines to stop what they're doing. That's actually really good to know. And also we have chain of command and... Uh, okay, this is also pretty good to know. Uh, the squad leader, which actually gives the command point bonus will be selected in this order, so Sergeant Medic, Tekker, Recon Gunner, and finally Rookie. So if the Sergeant dies, the Medic will get picked next to be in command. Health system, traits, undetected. Alright, I'll, I'll read to this, through these at a later time. What I will read through is... Um, in case we find any PDAs with uh, info on them, that I will read because All I do right. hear they are there. actually mission important. Right, I was half expecting a few aliens to jump at me, but uh, I'm guessing we need to build some Minister, tension before that. Did we receive anything more from Sheriff Souza? Not a word. I don't like this. Roger that. Squad lead. Sounds like our first task is to secure the landing control zone. If things go south, fall back to the ARC and let the big guns do the talking. Do you hear? Okay, let's remember to use our flashlights. And let's check the map a little bit. So, the colony is actually pretty big. What's that? And we also have a second floor. And a, oh boy, a mine shaft. Oh, can I skip that part, please? We all know what's in mine shafts. Don't get too comfy, okay? Okay. I don't think the missions are actually time sensitive, so let's go around and uh, let's let's just look around a bit. Okay, that's a closed door. That that lightning actually scared me a little bit. Oh, I actually can't go any further up. And there's actually some materials quiet. there. Mm. Too quiet. Okay, so I'm guessing this is still part of the scripted tutorial. So let's just uh, go and do it and we can come back and explore uh, later, I guess. Oh, that's a really interesting... It, it looks like a, a... It looks like a Stay dune right. harvester. Right, let me re arrange okay, getting used to these flashlights will take a little while doors locked run a bypass let's get in there copy okay every morning class is able to unlock locked doors All 
Alright, so we're not Black staying outside for long. Hey, Harper. And no there's the highlight from the here. flashlights. Do you see anything? Not a soul. Place is a real ghost town. And Don't that you worry, is a tool, a which we will grab. We have two tools to right now. The Sarge, by the way, is uh, in the ARC, so I'm honestly not worried about his safety with those cannons up there. Alright, so... And, uh, yeah, if, if I comfy, okay? start talking a lot... <laughs> All right, and here's where we go to get the, um, the flashlight tutorial. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if I start talking too much, it's because I am getting anxious. <laughs> okay, that's another tool. On it. I'm going to grab it inside. right now. From what I know, you can carry all the stuff you don't use back to the ship and you can deploy them on a def different mission so um, as long as I have room for stuff Here I will Satellite pick communications it up. access looks intact which is more than can be said for the operator no answers here looks like he killed himself guy must have hated his job <laughs> if you're done how about getting me plugged in right I'm I'm gonna Yes, he ran into a face hugger or something. Okay, that looks like a locked door. And in behind here. Ah. Okay. So let's connect right with now. the Otago. Alright, let's see what's in there. I, I love how the light switches from marine to marine depending on who's closest. Establishing satellite uplink. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Link established. Hmm. Looks like someone put the colony on lockdown. You know how long it'll take to burn through every door in the complex? If you can get to the township HQ, you should be able to shut off emergency status. That'll open up the doors. I can also scan for the settler's personal data transmitters from there. Okay, squad, you heard the lady. We'll get this door unwelded and continue our path towards the colony headquarters. Okay. Cut that door open. We can break a weld. Breaking welds apparently doesn't use tools. I do know that uh, welding a door, door does. Open. Okay, I'm guessing we're pretty safe now, since there's actually no no contacts on the um, movement motion detector. So I'm gonna go running a little bit. Stay frosty, Marines. We're not getting through here. Looks like someone wasn't taking any chances. Squad lead, use C4 to clear the wreckage. Oh, I'm sure that's a Coming. good idea. Planting C4. I'm sure no one will hear that. Get down, it's gonna blow! Well, I don't know we're here now. reminds me of we don't know it was those creatures could be an uprising could be anything stay frosty marines yeah definitely an uprising <laughs> although if you remember the first cinematic we did see someone get bonked over the head by what looked to be like a, a colonist okay, where are we supposed to go actually? safe position taken Oh, calm down. Okay, so we gotta reach the second floor, so we gotta find an elevator.
but right now as there are no contacts i will take advantage of the situation and Don't just comfy, find okay? explore every little corner for uh gear and uh what the hell is that who looks like some kind of skin did they not teach you about biohazards in the uscm don't touch it yeah there you go you done that's what she says after she touched the goo Marines, on the cargo pod Stay sharp. all right so that's i'm guessing a chest burster that shedded and grew Doors closed. Stay frosty, Marines. Okay, so we could blow this up with another C4 charge. It does cost one ammo. Um, so we we can just go around. We don't really need to it's blow quiet. it up right now. Too quiet. It, it's always too quiet before <laughs> before the aliens come. Okay, let's just take the elevator. Guys, I have a bad feeling about that. Come on, you've watched too many movies. It was built by the way you. It'll hold. Get us upstairs. On my way. Oh yeah, because we always have to have trust in the Wayland yutani Get out of here! Now! Which, uh, I'm gonna put in the... <laughs> right. What the hell just happened? Uh, well... Nearly took us with it. We'll need another way out. Told you! Freaking told you! <laughs> we're, we're not coming out back that way, and uh, that... That's not a good thought. And I'm not laughing because it's funny, I'm laughing because it's uh, anxiety inducing. You're at the HQ. You should be able to deactivate lockdown. Roger. Okay, let's see. Oh, there are some bodies around here. Even more, and the data pad. Okay. On my way. Go check the things. That is another tool, which I'll leave there since. Uh... Oh, we got some ammo off the the bodies, which is good. Uh, let's check that data pad. Hey, I found something. Looks like a data pad. Okay, let's see. Clerk Jim Da Costa. Experience Jones came in to open up the old mine. Had to bend a few rules and tell a couple of white lies to get it, but it'll be worth it in the end, right? You and me, we're going to bring hope back to Dead Hills. Thanks again for trusting me with this. I won't let you down. Right. So, I'm guessing Dead Hills kind of was a dying colony. And, uh, well, a dying uh, uh, installation on the planet. Or whatever you call it. Oh, there's another one. And they were planning to reopen the mine and restart mining operations. And we got nothing. Okay, I'm gonna explore everything before we... Um, before we touch that, that objective. Stay frosty, Marines. Okay, it looks like there's nothing else here. Is that door open? Ah, it's blocked. 
Okay, let's uh... let's see what we have here. Affirmative. Deactivating now. Let's hope this works. Okay, now let's check out the colonist's yeah, personal data transmitters. Opening all doors and will be really good map. for us. Go ahead and find it. In general. Right, let's uh, find that map. Accessing terminal. And this will actually allow us to crack all the colonists' uh, PDTs. Or PDAs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's PDT here, but if I say PDA, it's because I kind of uh, learned from Stalker. All right, and we can actually reveal this floor by using a tool, which uh, we kind of have to do. So there we go. All right, and we can actually change floors as well, and we can reveal this this uh, this ground floor as well. What have we got, Hayes? I'm reading six, uh, no, seven signals with vitals. Wait, <laughs> one's right inside the room. Hey, you! In the locker! My trigger finger's itching. So come out. But come out friendly like, yeah? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I... I just don't feel so good. Calm down, we're not gonna hurt you. Oh, that's always a good sign. What happened here? It got me. It got me like the others. It got him? What does he mean? Alright, settle him down. Oh, he something. got hugged. I had something oh. on my face. And then... <laughs> Oh, here come the crunches. What the hell? Yeah, that's a shit way to die. She's fur! She's fur! Screw that. I'm out! He said something latched onto his face. I've seen that. It's what happened to McDonald and the others on Pioneer. I... I think these creatures use us as incubators. What the hell are you talking about? The creatures on Pioneer. The thing we just saw. They're the same. One gross than the other. The... That's probably why we found that skin down there. So we could be seeing a lot more of them here? How many? What's the population of Dead Hills? I'd start there and hope for better. Shit, man, I don't like that. Great, that's just great. Securing from emergency lockdown. In five, four, three, two, one. South door is open. Stay alert, Marines. These things can attack us from every direction now. Oh yeah, that that's that's a nice thought to have. Alright, so let's check the map now. Let's see what we have. Since we revealed it. Um Oh, we still have a tool up there. So let's go get that one since we used two tools to um to Show the map. Quiet. Too quiet. Still nothing Roger. on the motion detector, so that's good at least. Alright, what else do we have here? Okay, so uh, you can actually create shelter here to reduce stress and uh, well, we're not stressed now, so it's it doesn't quiet. matter. Too I have quiet. no idea what this is. Oh, and we can actually see missions here. So, we do have the PDT data for the other colonists here. So we have new primary objectives. Find colonist, colonist O'Neill. Uh, that the Stargate reference? And... McAllen. Okay? All right. Um, and we're gonna have to head this way, basically. Stay frosty, Marines. Okay, that's that guy. I 
nothing there. It's quiet. Too quiet. <clears throat> okay, we're on exiting on a main hallway now. Harper, what am I looking oh. at? An ingress point, maybe? You think this is how those things got in? Squad lead. Deploy a field spotter. I want to know if anything comes out of this hole. Okay, so that's that looks like a hive exit. And we actually have access to new skills, so let's take a look at these. So we know the shotgun blast, grenade launcher, flare. Plus to plus accuracy bonus to every marine shooting at enemies inside the flares. 7.5 meter radius. How long is the shotgun's radius? Doesn't say. Okay, grenades uh Inner blast is ah oh no that's that's damage. All right, so I'm not sure how much uh, radius that is, but 7.5 meters. I'm gonna guess it's like uh, about the size of this uh, intersection here. All right, um, 180 seconds. So that's three minutes on a flare, which is not bad. Okay, we know suppressive fire, motion tracker. Marine deploys a motion tracker that reveals moving objects within a 60 meter radius. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Can be overloaded in order to decoy enemies for 30 seconds. But the crackle, tracker will be destroyed. And the cost is uh, only one command point, which is uh, pretty cool. Let's check on the others as well. Tactical analysis. Instantly adds two command points. Oh, but it uses one tool. Hmm... Okay, and finally retribution, which I see there's uh, also um, an indicator here. When retribution is activated, the Marines reco recover HP, their bravery is increased, and command points regenerate faster. Okay, I'll have to remember that. Yeah seems like one of those ultimate uh, recharging Deploying abilities. Okay, so let's see how this motion tracker goes. Motion tracker deployed. Nice work team. If something comes out of there, we'll get a reading. Now let's get back to those survivors. Okay, so the motion tracker actually covers a pretty large area. I mean, it's a quarter of the map. So we should be deploying these uh, pretty much everywhere we can. And um let's see. Oh that's that's a marine, never mind. It's quiet. Too quiet. That's a tool right there, but I am a bit apprehensive of going closer to the hive. Uh, the squelching Let's noises. It is a tool, though, so... Okay. Um, that door's closed, so... The only way we can go is... Uh, actually, we can go down as well. To the south. But... There doesn't seem to be any objective there, so uh, for now, let's let's go towards Two this points. guy here. We have this door right near us. Isn't that the box I can pick up? Oh, we're outside. Okay. Another door here. Okay, what's really annoying right now is that uh, if I make them sprint, my uh, flashlight gets uh, disabled for a second and I need to click it again. Okay. It's quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, I heard you the first five times. Okay. Oh, these little... Um, 
these little um rooms. Harper, are you reading this? Yeah, looks like the field spotters picked something up. Squad lead, check it out. Sweep Ooh. it secure. Okay. So we can see something moving over there. I mean, we pretty much know what that is, right? Okay, these rooms appear to be uh, isolated, so... Oh, we can actually make a shelter if we just weld this door. It's quiet. Too quiet. That's good to know. And we have ammo here and a body. Um, Roger. I'm gonna pick up this ammo. See what's inside. We can see the ammo count on the weapons down here. Okay, what do you have? I don't think there's anything else. Right, free materials. Okay, we could also Stay deploy a motion Marines. detector here. Our command points actually regenerate um, over time, so we can just keep reusing them. This is a pretty long hallway. Don't really like that. And the big door at the end. Right. Okay, what's down here? Oh, I can actually get to the colonist from here. Don't get too comfy, okay? Okay, um, guys, flashlights, please. There's something around. Hmm. Well, oh, luckily, it's going the other way. It's quiet. This is the place. Stay alert. Oh. There's something attached to his head. Careful! This is what happened to the others on Pioneer. And to that guy in the HQ. Can we get it off him? Copy. Let's try. Now, as we know, removing face huggers not easy business. Back off! The tail's constricting! It'll strangle the poor bastard! We could take him back to the Otago. Maybe Booker can. You are not taking him to Medbay. We can't risk the contamination. God damn it. All right. Oh, she's right. We can't leave him here like this. Squad lead. Put him out of his misery and then get back to the mission. Right now. Nightmare's finally stopped, buddy. Next time, do it quietly. Each shot might draw these creatures' attention. Okay, so if we make noise within the range of the motion tracker, it will draw the aliens. I am going to deploy another one right here. Deploying motion tracker. Setting a motion tracker. Motion tracker deployed. Okay, I think we have good coverage. Where to next? Uh, I'm thinking of going down this hallway and checking these two rooms as well. Or actually, we can just go up and come around here. So let's do just that. I don't think there was anything else left in these rooms. Stay frosty, Marines. Okay, and we can also see the alien aggressiveness uh, meter has turned on. Okay, Roger. that's another dead sucker. I think. Yeah, I don't want to go up out Safe right now. Alright, so we would need demolition to There's get past around. that. 
And there's an alien on the other side. So it doesn't seem like it's moving. But there is one there that's moving, so let's uh let's hurry to that hallway and uh hopefully I have multiple signals. Hopefully it won't spot us. Oh crap. I didn't move to the hallway, I actually Okay, it's going down, so we can, uh... Don't get too comfy, okay? I have no idea which way it's going. Okay, it went into the rooms there. Let's, uh... <sighs> Safe position taken! All right, more dead bodies here, and the alien is uh, Xenomorph is advancing uh, down. On it. Go back from the door, please. All right, we have another med kit and some more ammo. Really nice. Uh, let's go back out and. Uh, Right, motion tracker is quiet. I think this should also take us out on the other side. It's and quiet. the contact down there, too quiet. Um, which we saw, which was standing still, also disappeared. Yeah, there's some ammo there. We all we already have eight ammo, and I don't think I want to use more. Uh, I or should I? What? Let's just pick it up. Copy. Let's see what's inside. Oh, there's a question mark over there. Got something on a tracker. Okay, I definitely want to see what that is. More signatures spotted. We can honestly go stress free for now. They are pretty far away. Oh, inventory is full. Full of what? Okay, this is either a tool or... Okay, I think those aliens are on the outside. These Stay are outside from, bridges. Hmm. And there's still these two rooms I didn't explore yet. So let's, uh, let's try and get to them. I don't want to go outside, but I can move along here while still staying inside. Oh, quiet. that quiet. looks like... Uh, I don't know what you'd call that material, but... Um, uh, I'm gonna say hive goo. Okay. And there's uh, an ingress point here. A hive exit. Okay, um, there's another one here, so let's move Stay to the outside, please. all the way there. More signals incoming. I'm gonna try and make it fast, so they don't spot us. Oh, that's a lot of them, and one of them is actually coming this More way. More signals incoming. We checked this, right? There's one right behind us. Gonna try and double time it. We check this hallway. Yeah. It's quiet. Too quiet. Okay, there's something over there. Oh, he's right there. More signals incoming. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna escape unseen. 
Oh, actually? Come on. They're headed our way. Pull back. Oh, he spotted us. We're spotted. Let's rock! Tango down. Eat that fucker. Alright, so we're hunted They're now. Headed our way. It's a drone. Uh I'm I'm actually gonna stay right here. Shit. That thing's Sora. Feels Tango, like right a good ahead. place to Right. Uh suppressive fire that way. Suppressive fire. And I'm gonna need a shotgun blast on this one. Watch out. More signals incoming. There's another one down. coming up from the other side. We knocked them hard. Okay, let's find a better better place. And there's our stress going up. Now, while we are, we're hunted, the aliens will know where we are, I think. Oh, actually, they only searched the last known lo location. So, uh, we can actually try and... Mm. Bad way to go. Doors welded shut. Someone made the right call. Reading a personal transmitter on the other side. Could be a live one. All right, Marines. Get him out. All right. Oh, oh we I got him really with a crit. I would like to break Cut the weld on this. Breaking the weld. Oh, said, that's someone. Are you? are you with the company? Take it easy, man. We're the USCM Corps. I'm under the orders of Sergeant Harper and in contact with Administrator Hayes from the Pioneer Station. It's Joe McAllen, technician second grade. Please, don't leave me here, please. Technician? Chief Corrigan could probably use another pair of hands. No way he's getting in my dropship. How do you know he's not infected? Infested, Hunslet. These things are parasites, not a disease. Marines. You reckon we can trust him? I mean, he welded that door pretty tight to keep these guys at bay. Just keep an eye on him, will you? Squad lead, bring him back to the ARC. But stay alert. I don't want any surprises. All right. Stay calm, Joe. We're getting you out of here. Stay with us. We'll get you back to our transport. Okay. Luckily, the hunt ended while we were in the cinematic. So let's do a little... Uh, Roger. Check with our flashlights. Oh, there's a medkit there. Let's see what's inside. Nothing. And also a tool set. But we're 50% stressed out. Let's get this guy to follow us. And uh I think I'll deploy another motion detector here. Deploying motion tracker. Anything else we can pick up? Motion tracker deployed. No, but it's good to know we have those tools there. Oh, and there was another thing up there which we didn't check. There's a body. On it. Nothing. Right, so what we learned is that uh, being outside is a very bad idea and there's another alien we're just gonna head down and uh, try and evade it don't get too comfy okay we have a motion tracker covering this whole area so there's something around now ah, he's way way in the distance so not gonna worry about that. I love how the mechanic guy is right up front. Right, we got a medkit down there. But we are full, so we're just gonna leave it for another time. Just the door. It's quiet. Also, it's sprinting quiet. makes the mechanic go way up front, which uh, feels like a bad idea. And, okay. Right now! Check on that guy. And we already checked here, and it's be good. Another med kit. Um, 
Which I'm guessing we can pick up another time. There's also this area that was left unexplored and I kinda wanna explore it. On a track. And there's an alien behind us. Okay. I'm gonna take a risk and explore that area there. I don't think we need to drop another motion tracker. We kinda got everything covered. We can Safe hide behind taken. there. Oh, never mind. I will definitely deploy another motion cracker here. This is a hive exit. Deploying motion tracker. Setting a motion tracker. Motion tracker activated. Just in case something comes out of there, I wanna have eyes on it. Okay, and the whole map is pretty much covered in motion crackers, which is really good. There's an alien up to the left, but uh, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay. Don't get too comfy, okay? So. Okay, that one's not moving. And I also saw right here. There's More something. Incoming. On it. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, another health kit. It's quiet. Again, I should get to use the flashlight. Okay, so to get on that side, I'm guessing we're gonna have to go around here. What the hell's that? Copy. Let's see what's inside. Right, in the meantime we can check check that inventory full. Okay. Guessing that's probably a tool. There's something around. Okay, that contact is not moving. And Xenotech blueprint. What the hell's that? Don't wanna weld the doors down. Already checked that uh, guy, and the alien right here. Stay frosty, oh, it's it's not moving. Okay, and it looks like it's on the other side, not here. Okay, we can go down and then go around here. Get too okay, comfy, some okay. animal and uh, another set of tools. Don't see anything else. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking that's it. So let's go to the There's main. Uh, it's not moving. Let's go to the main elevator shaft, maybe? There's another one here, but I I really want to take the one in the middle. It's also a bit closer to us. Stay frosty. some contacts over there and another one behind us more signatures spotted oh hmm okay it seems like one of them is moving okay so there's one on the corner that's not moving Okay, change of plans, we're taking the southern elevator. Uh, 
All right, that's that's a bit better. Nice and quiet. Um, there we go. There's something. Around. Let's go to the first floor, and I'm thinking we're gonna drop off the engineer at the ARC, and. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll take a break and uh, finish this episode because we are we're kind of getting uh, into overtime here. Oh, there's a lot of missions. It's quiet. Okay, Too quiet. It's, it's a straight line to the ARC. Though I do want to explore this room at least. Of course, there's a... Oh, inventory full. Okay. Would be cool if you could drop stuff. Um, Copy. Let's see what's inside. Would be cool if you could drop stuff uh, on the ARC and just pick everything up, but... Okay, material. Even more material. That's good. And I think that's it for this... Uh, Let's move out. If you need a ride or more firepower squad, don't forget I can provide and you know what? with the ARC. I'll, um, Just find me a tactical position and I'll drop another you. motion tracker right here. Uh or maybe I can just call the ARC here. <laughs> Last support required. Hang on. But I'll right, still drop a motion tracker here. Deploying motion tracker. Motion tracker activated. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. And uh, he did say that he can provide cover to us. So. I, I can't wait to see what that looks like. Okay, so we can redeploy the squad which allows us to transport it on the ARC to another fixed position on the map. Exfiltrate Survivor, which we're gonna do right now. And we can also extract hey, our squad completely. Bring me back some of the good stuff. So let's uh, extract the Survivor. Thank you. I never thought I'd get out of there alive. And, uh, Looks like Corgan's gonna get that extra pair of hands. Oops. And uh, we'll call it an episode right here. So, yeah, we we did a little bit of... Uh, we got a, through a little bit of progress. I think we're done with the tutorial, mostly. Uh, we managed to get through this mission with a single hunt going for us. We killed a few aliens. Um... And yeah, I'll, I'll continue next episode from, from here. We still have... Okay, I'm gonna keep it paused, but... Uh, we finished the objectives up top. We managed to rescue one mechanic. But there are still a lot of objectives to be done here on the ground floor. So we will be doing that next episode. And hopefully we'll finish this mission and... Uh, yeah, get some upgrades for our guys. Uh, can't I honestly can't wait but I hope you enjoyed this I'm having a lot of fun with it uh, you may not hear it in my voice but I'm actually anxious as hell <laughs> playing this game but it is a lot of fun but yeah I hope you enjoyed um, as always don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and uh, I'll see you all next time